here's the oldie easy home personal heater Ooh. I think it's time to service it yeah interestingly they use tri-wing screws for the fan here and I have a bit that fits it but this isn't going to really get us anywhere. I'll take one out just to see. This isn't a separate panel. Fortunately, the rest of the screws are Phillips. I can't really show them to you, but they are. So, uh, the other driver I have isn't going to fit in these holes, but what will is this real honest to goodness snap off screwdriver. The reason it's called snap-off is if you have a flat blade, this happens to be a Phillips, and you pry with it, it will promptly snap off. So we'll take out these screws. There are six of them. Okay. Ooh, that fan doesn't even sound healthy. Well, I've shaken out the screws I can. It looks like the front wants to come off. And sort of folds away. Oh dear. There are all sorts of circuit boards in here. Why is there a circuit board in this thing? What the hell? This is a nightmare. One of the wires is very short and looks like it's going to fall off. I probably shouldn't even bother with that connector. And I should take this one off before it breaks off the board, which it probably is going to in short order. Maybe I can pull the board out. That would be nice. Yes. Okay. Good. So now we don't have to worry about breaking that further. All right. So we have some more screws. That's five out of the six. One more is stuck over here. There's the sixth screw. So here's the ceramic heating element, which is actually warm just from that little uh, thing we had. The tip over switch is right there. Looks like four screws. Um, these are a number two, but I don't want to go back and get my other screwdriver, so we'll take these out. Perfect. That's all we needed. Excellent. Okay, so pretty much what we have here, huh, it's a 12-volt DC fan. It's just like a regular computer fan. I guess that's what the whole circuit board bit is about. That's kind of stupid, but okay. Uh, I don't need to remove the fan from here, although I could by taking the tri-wing screws out. But uh, there's a little hair in here. We'll take that out. Otherwise, pretty clean. Not too bad. Not really bad at all. Not really dusty. But we'll take out this. There's the sticker. Try to maintain that if at all possible. And now you need something to pry out the plug. So the tool of choice for this is going to be a rusty old cheap utility knife that's plastic. We'll just kind of dig it in there and pry out the plug, revealing what we came for. We're going to just shoot a bunch of oil in there. You can use whatever oil you like. I'm going to use 3-in-1 red can. They say don't use red can, use blue can. Don't use blue can, use green can. Don't use green can, use purple can. 
all cans matter. I've never had a fan fail me after oiling with this, ever. I've had this same can for, oh geez, 20 something years, almost 25 years. And uh, we have plenty of oil in there now. I'll just use the uh, corner of this to just mop up a little bit, because that would prevent the sticker from sticking properly probably still not going to stick because that aided in smearing it around but uh, we'll put the cap back and now we have more overage of oil so we'll try to clean that up and now it's even more oily so hopefully the sticker won't stick I know what it is and it's on video so it's not that big of a deal we'll put that back giving it that made in China sticker goodness and we'll put this back everything else seems to be still pretty much where I left it just gotta redrape the wires and the corners and now we will put in these four screws again if I don't drop it or have a magnetic screwdriver. That's where the other set would be handy. Okay, now the circuit board, just put that connector back on there, and I'm going to get the front and slide this in. This has two little protrusions here, they have grooves in them. See them there? And the board will slide into that. So let's try it this way. All right, that seems good. Tuck all the wires back and mush it back together. There. And now we'll put in the screws. They appear to be all the same, so we'll go ahead and put them back. Looks pretty good. Apparently I left the switch on, but that's fine, and it's nice and quiet. It's certainly moving air. It's nice and warm. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. And this actually didn't require the use of the um, tri-wing screwdriver. If you had to remove the fan to replace it, then you would need that which you can replace really with any 80 millimeter computer fan, it's nothing special. And uh, it's back in service. So I'll just give it a wipe down and clean it up a bit and put her back in service. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll warm you next time. Bye bye.